today we're going to be covering how to use the Wiimote as a PC game controller. So first we're going to show you how to connect the actual Wiimote to the computer. You're going to need a Windows based computer, a Bluetooth adapter, either internal or external, and lastly we're going to need a Wiimote. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the Bluetooth or activate it if it's internal. And now on the computer we want to go to our Bluetooth places and activate the setup wizard so we can add a Bluetooth device. So I'm going to hit next here. And I want to select it as a human interface device. So I'm going to click that and hit next. Now it's going to look for the Wiimote. So we're going to go ahead and start pairing mouse. Hit one and two at the same time and then the Wiimote starts to pair and it should find it, which it did. Let's click it and hit next. And it should successfully pair. So let's click finish. Double check by uh, going to view devices in range. And looks like we've successfully connected the Wiimote. Now we're gonna go through how to configure it so you can actually use it as a controller. So now we're gonna open up this program called GlovePy. You can get a link for it in the description. And there's a few ways to set this up. You can script it or you can use the GUI. I'll show you guys the GUI first, but I like scripting personally. So we're gonna detect our output and then we're gonna hit our key on the keyboard. So I'm, let's say I wanna do up, let's click up. Now we're gonna go click detect input here and we're gonna hit it on the Wiimote. And then we're gonna hit apply. Then it goes to the script and does it automatically. So it's pretty easy to script. You just type in one and set it equal to the other. You just have to do that for everything else, and then it'll look like this. Then now that it's done, we're just going to go ahead and hit run. And once we hit run, all those buttons will be remapped to the keyboard. So, it's nice and simple to set up once we run it. We're going to go ahead and test it using an emulator that I downloaded. So let's go ahead and run the NES emulator with Mega Man. So we're going to go ahead and go to options and hit input. And this is where we're going to adjust it. We're just going to click what we want, like for left, for example. We're going to click set down here, and we're going to hit left on the Wiimote. You're just going to do go through all that, depending on the button. And once it's finished, we're going to go ahead and hit file, open. And we're going to find the game we want. Mine's on the desktop, it's Mega Man 5. Let's click open. And it should successfully run. And this works a lot better than using a keyboard. It's very responsive. You won't notice any lag. Let's give this a shot. We'll go through Stone Man. Why not? All right. And it looks like it's working. Working pretty well. So remember to subscribe to this channel to help support. And try out your remotes on your computer.